Hi, my name is Dave Silver, and I'm the head of institutional options at Citadel Securities. I'm joined today by Kelly Brennan, the head of ETFs at Citadel Securities. And today we're going to discuss the exchange traded fund market and how it's evolved over the past several years. So Kelly, most investors understand what stocks are, but exchange traded funds, ETFs, can you explain to me what is an ETF and what role do they play in the marketplace? An ETF or exchange traded fund is uh, an, an instrument that trades on an exchange, but is actually made up of uh, a basket of constituents. So the S&P 500, for example, has a couple of ETFs uh, that represent all 500 stocks, but it trades like a, a stock itself. An ETF may track uh, foreign securities, or it may track uh, municipal bonds, or it may track a specific sector like the energy sector. So it sounds to me an ETF is a lot like a mutual fund. ETFs and mutual funds do have something in common, which is they can allow you to track an entire sector or an entire asset class uh, as a grouping rather than having to spend your day managing prices of individual securities. Economists call that passive investing which allows you to e express a thesis on an entire asset class or on an entire portfolio of financial instruments. So Kelly, can you tell me how big a market is ETFs? Are they as popular as I think they are? ETFs is a young asset class and a, a really exciting asset class to be, to be part of, especially over the past 10 to 15 years. Uh, the first ETF was created in 1993, but the asset class really started to gain traction over the past 10 to 15 years. In 2003, the uh, market was around $200 billion in, in, in the US, and it's grown to a global market in 2020 of about $7.7 trillion. Wow, that's, that's some real growth. So who are the users of the ETFs? ETFs are used by many different types of market participants. Institutional investors, for example, use ETFs uh, to manage large portfolios of risk or financial instruments, unlike a mutual fund, trades on an exchange and uh, therefore offers intraday transparency into its price. We've seen that a dramatic growth of the retail investor entering ETFs, in part because it allows them to gain access and express an investment thesis in one security or one financial instrument that's traded on an exchange, rather than needing to go out and buy or sell dozens, if not hundreds, of financial instruments. So the retail investor has used ETFs as a tool to access asset classes that would otherwise not be accessible to them uh, or to broaden their investment thesis beyond one stock or instrument into an entire asset class of, of financial instruments. So Kelly, market makers like Citadel Securities and others, what role do they play in the ETF market? Market makers uh, like Citadel Securities provide an ability to buy or sell ETFs to all different types of investors um, in, a, in a transparent and a, an accessible way. Kelly, thanks so much for speaking with me today. This was really helpful. Sure. Thanks for having me, Dave.